welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my personal review of the new fragrance by Ariana Grande, Cloud. This fragrance launched this year, 2018, and is Ariana Grande's sixth fragrance, and the first time we've gotten a new fragrance in a different bottle. So, the box looks like this this time, and minus the gigantic bright light that's going to make this box look horrible. Um, on the front, it says Ariana Grande, Cloud, with this kind of cute little cloud emoji type thing. And then the whole box is hollow, like, I don't know how much I can show you without it, like, screwing it all up, but, like, it changes colors when you look at it. On the top, it says Ariana Grande, and then the sides are just hollow, and then on the back, you've got this very pretty ad of her. Um, and she does really, really stand out against that hollow backdrop, that, because they, like, they hollowed the backdrop around her as well. So, the bottle looks like this this time, and actually this little thing does come out. So it sits in this little cloud base that says Ariana Grande on it, and then you pull this out, and that also says Ariana Grande on it. Um, and just a cute little cloud, and then you've got the cap that matches the front of the box there. So this fragrance, I will say, is a little bit different from Ari. It's definitely a departure from the Sweet Like Candy and Ari series that we've had previously, but this one is definitely a little bit more mature for her. So... We open with top notes of lavender, juicy pear, and bergamot. Middle notes are creme de coconut, praline, and vanilla orchid. With base notes of sensual, sensual musk and creamy woods. Apparently, I can't speak words. So, like I said, this is very different for her. And it's almost, in a way, unisex to me. Because it is, like, it does have a vanilla sweetness to it. But at the same time, it... That lavender is a really, really strong note. And so is the coconut. Like, I'm not a huge coconut fan, like, at all. I, I really don't like coconut. But when it's creamed up, like, the cream to coconut that I can do because it's generally mixed with a lot of vanilla. And there is definitely a lot of vanilla in this one. So when you first spray it, you definitely get a little bit of that pear and a little bit of the bergamot. But you're really, really getting the lavender. Like, I can definitely pick up on the lavender. But I can also pick up on the creme de coconut from the heart in the first initial spray of it. Um, as it starts to dry down, it does get a little bit more woody. Those woods from the base do come out a little bit more. And they do kind of, like, almost ground down the fragrance is the way I want to say that. They make this fragrance a little bit more mature, a little bit more grown up. And I don't want to say mature and thinking, like, this is your grandmother's fragrance. This is definitely just more not teeny bopper, more mid-twenties, more businesswoman. This definitely is a little bit more sophisticated. It does give you a little bit more, like, mm, jush for you. Um, I will say Lasting Power is really, really good on this one. As it starts to really get into that heart is when it really starts to, like, change and take form and kind of, like, come down. You get a little, like, slight, like, extra sweetness from that praline. And the vanilla orchid does give, like, the vanilla to it, because it's also, like, that creme de coconut gives the vanilla to it. But the it, the vanilla orchid really, really gives it kind of this light, airy floralness to it. And the whole fragrance is kind of light and airy, which I would expect for it being called cloud. I mean, floating on a cloud, why not? Um, but I will say that it once... The lavender never really goes away, but it's not a bad lavender. I'm not a huge lavender fan. I don't like lavender essential oil or anything like that. Like, it's a little bit too green for me. But this is just the right amount of green mixed with a lot of vanilla. I don't know, just a little bit of floral, a little bit of wood to make it kind of soft and creamy. And like I said, a little bit more mature. Lasting power, ridiculous because of that heart. The heart is really where you get that lasting power from. The top... You get a little bit from the top, but once the top fades away, that heart is really where this fragrance is the powerhouse. I definitely think it lasts about eight hours. I sprayed down myself this morning, and, like, this currently being about 10, 12 hours later, I can't smell it. Like, I sprayed it here this morning, and I can't really smell it here, but I sprayed it here before I went to work, and that was, like, seven hours ago, and I can still definitely smell it here. Um, I definitely did get quite a few compliments on it. Um, people told me I smelled really, really good when I was at work today. And then I asked one of my other coworkers, like, I walked in, and I was like, I want your opinion on this smell, and tell me what you think. Like, what do you think? And she said that, like, she didn't like it, she didn't dislike it, it was just very, just kind of there. And I kind of like that. Sometimes when you're going to work or you're going to, like, somewhere where you don't want your fragrance to be super loud, this, I feel like, is that perfect thing. This almost, I feel like has a sophistication to it. It could almost be unisex in a way, um, but this definitely has like a boss woman sophistication 
subtle vibe to it. This isn't going to be your loud powerhouse fragrance. This fragrance is definitely just more on that soft and sweet side and definitely perfect for daytime wear. I'm in love with this bottle. Like the, the bottom part is like soft plastic almost. And like, there's no like stickers on the bottom or anything. And my camera's way too bright for that to catch. But like, there's no stickers on the bottom. Everything's on the bottom of the glass. This is like a, like a hard plastic, but it's almost like, it feels like it's rubberized. Like it's I don't know if you guys can see that, but, like, I can bend it so, like, it's rubbery. But the bottle is glass, so we just have a plastic cap. Um, I really, really like this one. I know that, like, it got delayed a little bit. Like, it was supposed to come out earlier, and then, like, just production took forever on it. Um, and, like, even Ari, like, when she posted on her Snapchat, she didn't even have a bottle a couple weeks ago. So, like, I can only imagine how new these bottles are and, like, how quick Ulta got them. This is exclusive to Ulta in the United States. Um... I don't know if they're getting a 3.4 ounce 100% off the top of my head just because they haven't gotten it yet and normally they do um, post it by now but they do have a 1 ounce and a 1.7. This is the 1.7 ounce and there is a purse spray as well. When I bought this there was no um, free gift or anything like that but that doesn't mean there won't be one in the future. So definitely think overall this is about a 7 to 8 hour lasting power fragrance that's very soft, sweet, gentle. Definitely perfect for daytime wear. I definitely think more fall and winter daytime wear because it is have that like the like the praline and the vanilla and like kind of just it kind of is a little bit cozy. Um, one of my friends said that he was told that it smelled like uh, like a Creed fragrance or like a Creed male fragrance with a lot of vanilla added to that. I haven't really smelled a lot of the Creed fragrances, but this definitely does smell different from Ari's previous series, but still safe in her, like, firehouse, if you want to call it that. Like, I don't think her fans are going to be disappointed in this one. I definitely think the more, um, 20-somethings are really going to appreciate this one. I, my personally love Sweet Like Candy, but this one is a really, really nice one. I don't dislike this one. I probably actually would like this one more than some of her previous ones. I know that I've talked about doing an Ariana Grande fragrance knockout series, and now that Cloud is officially out, and I officially finally have it, I will be doing a fragrance knockout on Ariana Grande here soon. So if you guys want to see how all of Ariana Grande's fragrances line up, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's just a little button down below. It doesn't cost you nothing. Hit the bell icon to make sure that you are notified when I'm getting new videos because that is definitely coming soon. So as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review of Cloud by Ariana Grande. And this does not stay in here. Like, once it's there, it stays, but it does tilt a lot. Um, But that's not a bad thing. You just take it out of the cloud and put it back in. And it actually didn't even remember this but it actually has a little on the inside flap here it talks about how you can do that and it says like white puffy a white puffy cloud of your very own to hold your dreamy new fragrance when you're ready to spray just lift the bottle out of the cloud base and replace when you're done to keep your bottle floating in the clouds so you're supposed to take it out before you spray it so just a word of the wise it's not like your bottle's not broken if it comes out it's supposed to do that so as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.